So a little bit of a story, a little bit of a local news story here in North Carolina. There is a backwards town, a backwards racist town with a racist sheriff and racist people. Backward, ignorant, racist motherfuckers in the town of Graham, North Carolina. And I got a little bit of history with the with the sheriff department of Graham, North Carolina. And Graham, North Carolina, back, I think, 2010, I um, went with the pilgrimage for justice and peace. Some of the older comrades working in the religious community, working for peace and justice here in the good state of North Carolina. And we went down there to protest that the fact that the 287G laws, that the local police sheriff department got raised his hand as quick as he could to be able to port our working class Im immigrant migrant brothers and sisters on documented fellow workers, undocumented workers were being arrested and kept away from their families for trying to get to work, just for driving a car. They'd be like, oh, you ain't got a license. Well, they ain't got no license because they've been pushed for their homelands through policies like NAFTA. And then, then they were forced here to fleeing starvation. And then the local sheriff raised his hand first to, to be able to deport our undocumented immigrant brothers and sisters. Hmm. And, and the peace community came out and I marched behind someone dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. And we marched past a group of fascists, a, a group of anti-immigrant bigots, a group of people that were thoroughly convinced that their sheriff was doing the right thing, suppressing the wages of their community by suppressing the undocumented workers. So we went on this march in Graham County. We marched by the, the, the front of the sheriff's office and there was a group of 20, 25, 30 people with signs saying the immigrant, the sheriff that's been locking up undocumented people helps them sleep at night. And I held a stand. I held a sign up to them. Workers, unite and fight for better wages for us all. I held the sign up to the reactionaries. Uh, with a cross behind it. I sell a cross to the camera, said change the trade laws, trains NAFTA to the media and to the reactionaries. I held another sign that said unite and fight for better wages for us all. And we walked and we walked by the, um, the, the, the racist. And we went around to the back of the jail. And a woman who was, I think, that had connections with the people that gave me the internship in the Quaker community was dressed up as a Statue of Liberty and got arrested and taken to the same detention facility as our undocumented um, brothers and sisters were being held. That was Grand North Carolina. I remember the sheriff harassing me on the way out, telling me I couldn't have a sign to take my shirt off, to leave their town. I wasn't welcome in their town. And now, just recently, the town in Graham, North Carolina, as people were were exercising the little bit of rights we have in this country, the slim sham of voting, people were pepper sprayed while they were marching to the polls. Voters in Graham, North Carolina, were pepper sprayed as they were marching to the polls. This is voter suppression.